Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the new colors you can add to curves. You can see I got a couple going on up here. Just celebrated the 4th of July over here in the U.S. So I figured, why not? Let's just do an American flag. Thought it was kind of cool. It's kind of fun to make. And this little spiral graph type thing here. So I'll just show you how, how to go about it. Let's just I'm going to draw a little rectangle here. Right click to confirm. And it's quick and easy. Just like any other body or surface, you can just hit Material M, and it'll bring this up. Really, just want to mess with the color. Um, why not? Uh, we'll get this weird purple. Do the purple here, and click OK. Deselect it, and as you can see, we've inherited the new color. Uh, I was thinking with um, the new colors on these curves would come in kind of handy if say like let me show you what I did I've got this little measurement going on here showing how the length of the body is and then how far each one is from each one of these headlights are from the from each other in the center so I thought this would be kind of neat if you needed to do something like that with some dimensional call outs I think uh, down in the future it would be really nice if plasticity could just automatically do this. You know, I just click a point, drag it out, and it gives me the exact measurement. And the only reason I know it's that 2.22 meters is if I draw a line, go from one point to another. Oops, should have kept it active. As you can see, in the center, right above the the large shapes is 2.222. So I think it'd be kind of cool, kind of neat, neat little novelty that you can play with now. So, but that's uh, coloring your curves.